This is about to be a very interesting case. I can already tell. Down and asked an acquaintance to record the interaction, but Michelle wasn't very happy to meet Davis. What the? What is wrong with you? Bro, why is he saying the like that? Help. Need to get away from you. That's a real sassy no. man right there. I tell you that. No. This is normal. Thank you. I don't care what anybody says. Can I please stand up? No. <laughs> What is up, YouTube? It is your boy, Six Streets. Come back again with another video. And today, as you see by the title, we'll be reacting to when cops have to arrest. When cops have to arrest their wives. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Let's get right into it. And I know that was an awkward conversation. Every person can one day get arrested. But what happens when the suspect hey, is actually yo! Who showed up? Here are four times when the suspect in handcuffs was a cop's wife or girlfriend. Strap in and get ready. On September 25th, 2023, officers responded to a report of a female driving erratically and almost smashing into a vehicle. She eventually came to a stop after hitting a curb by the side of the road. She and as drunk? the cops approached the vehicle while still on, they weren't very happy to realize who the driver was. Get this mother out of my car. One step out. Get out. Bro. The cop approached the suspect asking her to leave the car. Another seemed pretty angry and even mentioned the car being his. And that was the suspect's boyfriend, Sergeant White, who was greatly invested in the case as they had much more to lose than his car and his girlfriend, Desiree. Oh, you can stay in the car. Just give me your key fob. Where's the key fob, girl? Do you have it on you? No. There it is. You're not getting any any because who you know it don't matter, okay? You know it's against the, against the law to be driving under the influence, correct? Yeah, it's not the key fob. Okay, you do know that, right? Bro. Since Desiree was still in the vehicle and was suspected to be under the influence of something, the cops knew they had to find a way to hinder her from driving off and worsening the situation without ruining their relationship with her or their colleague. And this was a very tough call. Are you going to get out of the car? Yes or no? No. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Oh, really? oh what the f You're gonna listen. Yeah. You don't get any he favors because who you're dating. You understand that? Don't resist. He had to do what he had to do. I can call your shit. Right? Stop. No. Yeah, stop. You already messed stop. up. Stop, man. We're 15, one time. You're not wrong. Stop. You're wrong. Stop. Unlike they had imagined, Sergeant White had supported her arrest, and after resisting arrest and bruising a cop, Desiree was finally detained. Sorry. You're right. I'm sorry. Bro. I mean, I just don't, I don't know her I'm issue. I'm so embarrassed. I don't. I tried. Was the child inside the car? You grabbed the car. You grabbed the kid. Yeah, I watched him get the kid out of the car. Yeah, I did. Because I was pulling. Okay, up. get the child's information. Yeah. Are you, I guess your mom? Grandma. Grandma? I had no clue. The cops then shifted their attention to their colleague to figure out why he was so agitated about the situation. With her reckless driving, Desiree not only endangered her life, but that of White's child as well. But amidst mm. all that, the cops were very pleased that they couldn't arrest Desiree at that moment. Des, relax. Come on. Hey, I got no part of that, none of this. Okay? <laughs> Desiree was a local sergeant's girlfriend, known by most cops present. Handling anything pertaining to the case would be a conflict of interest on well, their part. Drunk, so they handed it over to the sheriff's office to maintain the long-standing relationship with their colleague. I, I ran up, I snatched the door open, I put the car in park, I turned it off. I didn't see the key fob, but I have my spare. I keep my spare in my, in my unit. Watch your road. Yeah, watch your road. I put it in park, I turned the car off. I didn't say a word to her. I ran around the other side because I could see baby's feet. So I'm trying to think before she gets the conscious effort to try to put this car back in drive or turn it on. I run around, I grab the baby. And then I ran right up to her mom and I was like, take the baby. Olenek rolls up. He was like, Sarge, we got it. I said, please deal with that. And I backed up. The only reason I'm here is because this motherfucker wouldn't answer the phone. So I'm tracking and I'm like, something ain't right. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I was right. 
with a breath test of 0.36 BAC. Yeah. Desiree was charged with multiple counts of battery upon a peace officer, resisting, aggravated DWI, and abuse of a child. Sergeant White was useful in his girlfriend's case, but Trooper Davis was so unhelpful, his girlfriend wanted him gone. What is wrong with you? I don't need help. I need to get away from you. On August well, 21, like 2023, that, Davis filed a petition confining a woman named Michelle to a psychiatric hospital. Oh, he then tracked her. Brother. This is about to be a very interesting case. I can already tell. Down and asked an acquaintance to record the interaction, but Michelle wasn't very happy to meet Davis. What the? What is wrong with you? Bro, why is he saying that? I don't need help. I need to get away from you. That's a real sassy no. man right there. I tell you that. No. This is a normal. Thank you. I don't care what anybody says. Can I please stand up? No. In the commitment petition Davis filed, he noted several worrying texts from Michelle, which read, I think I'm going to drive off a cliff and go out in style. These seemed like very concerning All words right, and well. raised questions on why Michelle didn't want any help from Davis. But the answers to those questions yeah, weren't Davis far need off. Help, man. You're absolutely insane. You're fucking insane. Like, and then you pay me to look insane. As I'm sitting on the ground and my head slammed into this and that. By a cop who called the cops on me. Four months before this incident, Davis and Michelle entered an intimate relationship together, but Michelle soon ended the Only relationship four with Davis, seemingly for various reasons. And you call the cops on me for what? For what? Oh, because I'm around a sociopath who says he can do whatever he wants, women are objects, he wants. I'd be happy to tell them that. I mean, I don't know why you don't like when you're truth, I just tell it back to you. Like, I don't know why you don't like that. But that's, this is unacceptable behavior. And they're only four months in, bro. Totally unacceptable. What the f Davis was off duty that day. He could have been home with his kids and wife, whom he cheated on. But instead, after telling Michelle things like, I know you're not Wait. his kids and wife, whom he... Oh, okay. Yeah, I was right. He, he has a psychopathic girlfriend. He has a calm wife and children at home. Okay. I was right. I was right. Okay. All right. Cheated on. But All instead, right. after telling Michelle things like, I know you're not crazy, and I'll paint you as crazy, he was now sitting on her legs while waiting for backup to commit her to a psychiatric hospital. Who does that? You don't give a shit about anything except yourself. And if this is caring, you have a very f***ed up delusional way of expressing Yeah, no, for real. I'm with Michelle on that one. With bruises all over her body from being manhandled on gravel, Michelle hoped she could get off the floor, but she soon wound up in a far worse situation. I don't understand. Uh, and I can't relax. You just called the cops on me for existing because I didn't like your truth. Jesus. Bro, why has he got her like that, Come though, on. Bro? Is that not against his job policy? What? Why are you treating me like I'm a criminal? Davis claimed to care about Michelle, but his use of force was visibly from a place of perceived malice. Michelle was now aggressively restrained between a rock and a hard place, causing her to rue the cause of her current predicament. I can't make up that I assaulted you. I just didn't agree with your truth. I Who's didn't recording do anything though? Wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. I just left. Like, I don't understand. Moments later, backup arrived and Michelle was committed to a psychiatric hospital, but was released five days later after displaying no suicidal thoughts. The texts she sent to Davis were only a metaphorical indicator of her feelings in the relationship, and Davis was remanded to jail without bail with a litany of charges including strangulation, unlawful restraint, and official oppression. That's Davis good. claimed to arrest his ex out of care, but the next cop didn't stay to own up to his actions. Who showed up? On November 12, 2017, a police officer was notified of a physical altercation involving two men. But upon getting to the scene, he only saw one of them, and that ended up a good thing for him. So, what happened? Uh, someone ran down the hill. I was sitting here exercising. He just came down and jumped me and started hitting me in the head. Do you know him? him? Yeah. Okay. The man had been exercising at the park when another man assaulted him. Luckily, a passerby was present to stop the fight from escalating. 
and even though the man didn't disclose what caused the fight, the cop had a pretty good idea. And from what I understand, this is his wife? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Okay. So, you had any beef with him? Any issues? Uh, I think it's been an ongoing issue, but nothing physical until now. Okay. You want to press charges? So he's in a wrong as well. The man was at the park with a woman, and he got jumped by her husband. While the relationship between the man and the woman isn't clear, I'd say it's safe to assume that the woman's husband didn't like that they were together. And well, obviously. So. Apart from the swelling on the victim's head, the cop was unsure of the extent of his injuries. So while they waited for emergency medical services, he carried out a test on him, after which he would make a remarkable discovery. You know what day that we could have shown? Uh, it's Sunday. You know what month we're in? What year is it? 2017. <clears throat> Who's president? <laughs> Trump. How many quarters in a dollar? Four. Okay. You have any medical issues? Allergic no, to anything? No, 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 no. Okay, cool. Did you lose consciousness at all? No. Did he just use his hands, feet? I think just his hands, yeah. Okay. Assured he was cognitively sound, the cop shifted his focus to the wife of the assailant. Stephanie, who was a witness to the assault and held information that the cop could only wish was false. Who showed up? My husband. Okay. What's your husband's name? Joshua. Huh? Joshua. Josh is in APD, Josh. They know Josh. Stephanie's husband. Joshua Malachi was an Albuquerque Police Department officer suspended from duty for a DWI crash. Mm. Three months later, Joshua was back in the police radar, this time for assault. The cop knew the case had become more complicated, but he later realized that it was even more complicated than he thought. David 635 PD. Can you have a supervisor respond down here, please? Negative code. Yeah, that's the best way. <laughs> hey, I ain't no call for backup. You better call a supervisor because uh, I don't know how you handle that situation. The cop radioed in a supervisor to get clarity on handling the case. There we go. Now, knowing the assailant was a police officer, well-trained in combat and use of firearms, the cop was surprised by the victim's resolve. So, I'll ask you again, Sean. Do you want to press charges? I mean, it's totally up to you. If you don't feel safe, if you feel like this is gonna progress, why you cheating with a pol Why are you cheating in the first place? Why are you cheating with a police officer's wife, though? Um, there's gonna Just be a report made, file. and it's gonna go. I take it you know who her husband is. Yeah. So it's gonna go up through the you department. Know who he is too, right? Yeah. It's gonna go up through the department, and it's gonna go to Internal Affairs because he still is an employee. But if you don't feel safe. Does bro? Even after this, if something I don't like him. Not the officer. The officer sound messy too. But I don't like this dude right here. One because he knows he's messing with a police officer's wife. First of all, he knows he's messing with somebody else's wife. That's not he is. That's just wrong of him. Then he messes with a police officer, in in the city that they in. Dude wanted to get beat up. Dude asked for it. The man refused pressing charges against Joshua and instead expressed concern for Stephanie, who thought herself to be the cause of her husband's problems. That time when he didn't, whatever, he was coming to drive by me, I'm pretty sure. Oh, so. the incident? The okay. incident, yeah. Because that's what she told me. She called me right just on the phone saying he just left drunk in the car. He's looking for you. I'm like, like that was like, that was like another mile somewhere else. But, uh, And y'all think that's okay? Ale. Three months before this incident, Joshua and Stephanie had an argument about her affair with this man. And then, while drunk, Joshua drove straight for the man's house, which resulted in his police car crash. Six months after this incident, Joshua resigned from the Albuquerque Police Department. Oh, he crashed his police car. Ew. Yeah, he's cooked. Apartment. Stephanie showed up to the park unwanted, a stark contrast to Nicole, who couldn't even get to her boyfriend. No, you're under arrest, ma'am. On September 24th, 2022, 
an officer initiated a traffic stop after the driver of the vehicle made an illegal left. But upon further investigation, the cop realized a traffic crime closely resembled life imprisonment for the driver. The reason why I'm stopping you is one, your car is all messed up here. Yeah. You got no headlight and it's pretty dangerous to be driving like this. And two, you just made an illegal left. What imprisonment? You know what I'm really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Before making the illegal left, the cop had been following Nicole after he noticed her vehicle had sustained significant front end damage. But as he spoke to her, he noticed her droopy eyelids and slurred speech, uh -huh. indicating probable impairment. Do you have anything to drink tonight? No, not at all. All right, you take anything? You seem a little out of it. No, no, not at all. Just a good old okay. Abby. Well, that seemed hard to believe. It wasn't enough to assume she was lying because alcohol isn't the only substance capable of causing impairment. And as she brought her ID out, the cop uncovered new information about her alongside the cause of impairment. Oh, so you, you didn't have time to get your, um... Who's this? That's my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? Yeah. How long have you guys been dating for? Uh, like a couple months. A couple months? Yeah. All right, you can hold on to that. Along with her business card, Nicole handed the cop an ID of her boyfriend, who was a state trooper. The cop returned the ID, but it fell, and as she tried to pick it up, the cop wanted her as far away from the vehicle as possible. Sorry, I, I lost the card. What's up? I lost the card. Oh, Here, hop out for me. Hop out. Okay. Put your hands behind your back. Boyfriend, stay true. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, you're being detained. She's drunk driving. You have a piece of you have a, don't move. Drop the cigarette. Drop it. She's gonna burn him. Drop the She's gonna burn him. Ma'am, there's a thing of heroin right please, there. Please, please, I'm Stop. Gonna get six, I'm, right. I'm telling you, stop moving. Don't ruin my life. Please. I'm not ruining your life. Your life is ruined, buddy. It's, it's, Do not move. Do not move. She tried to absolve herself from the situation, even mentioning her dad, who was possibly a government personnel. But the cop was more concerned about what else she had on her. So you didn't have anything else on you? Uh, I don't know. What, what, what's in there, bro? Tell look. No, you're under arrest, ma'am. I'm just super expungent right now, please. Okay. I'm sorry, but... Nicole was given the opportunity to perform field sobriety exercises, but that obviously didn't go very well for her. Let's see it. 1,007. 1,008. 1,009. 1,000. All right, you can stop. Nicole took the breath test, and she had a BAC of 0, 0.0. And upon searching her car, the police found over 100 wax folds of them. Hundred racks full on June twelfth, two thousand. Bro, that's a whole nother video. Are you serious? Why do you end a video like that? That's so stupid. Honey, things are wet. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below what you thought about the video. Which which situation were you like more like what the hell on? I hope you have a wonderful day. Make sure you watch another video of mine. Text Chris me signing out. Peace.